Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and in this video I'm going to show you how to make artwork for exposed screens without using a computer at all. So we're using all analogue methods to create your films to expose onto a screen. Now here is an exposed screen made using a hand-drawn screen film. If you haven't worked with exposed screens before and you don't know about them, go back and have a look at one of our previous videos about exposed screens for screen printing. In a nutshell, we have here a screen that's been coated in light sensitive photographic emulsion. Our design has been placed underneath it in an exposure unit. Black areas of the design block the light, creating areas of open mesh to let ink through and the transparent areas of the design allow light to hit the emulsion, harden it and these areas don't let any ink through after it has been washed. Now for this type of film, I'm going to be using screen film. We have this on the Handprinter website, handprinter.co.uk, and it's an inkjet screen film, which means you can put it through your inkjet printer to print your designs. For the purposes of this project, I'm going to be drawing and painting directly onto this screen film, so I don't need to put it through a printer at all. I'm going to be using a variety of pens. We have the Zig opaque pens which are perfect for drawing onto films. They come in four different ends, broad, brush, fine and medium. They work really well. We have those at handprinter.co.uk. We also have Jacquard film markers on the website. These work really well. These are all a medium tip. You can use Posca pens, Posca paint pens in black to um, do your films. You can use acrylic paint if you want to. You can use paper cutouts, all sorts of things to create your films to expose onto a screen. There are two sides to this film. There is a smooth side and a slightly tacky side. You'll be able to feel it when you rub your fingers on it that there's a stiffer side with more resistance. Now that's the side that you want to draw onto. That's also the side you want to print onto if you are making a film with an inkjet printer. Our basic principle is that anything that is black on this design is going to be the area that prints on our screen. They're going to be the positive marks. The crucial part is that what we are drawing needs to be opaque. Ordinary pens aren't going to work here as they're not going to block the light enough. So I wouldn't recommend using normal permanent pens, Sharpies and things like this. The Posca pens are like a paint pen, so they're nice and opaque. And these types of pens, the Zig and the Jacquard film markers, they are designed to block out the light. They're not like ordinary pens. You can also use acrylic paint to block out the design is nice and opaque on the film, it will just need to dry. This is particularly good if you've got large areas that you want to fill or you want some more expressive paintbrushy marks. So now I have a screen film with lots of different marks. I've used the Zig pens, Posca pens, I've used some of the different nibs, the brush end, the fine end, to get these very thin lines to come out. I've used a couple of different brushes and acrylic paint to get these different marks here, my leaves and these marks there. And I've used the Jacquard opaque pen as well for the dots. So depending on the type of nib or the type of brush that you've got, you can do all kinds of different marks. You can also apply the paint using any kind of tool that you like. It doesn't have to be a paintbrush. Now it's useful to note here that your film doesn't have to look great in order to put it on a screen. Now here I've got a completely rectangular piece of A4 film to go onto my screen, but you can have several pieces of film that you arrange together. You can use transparent sellotape to stick pieces together if you want to. You can cut bits out, add bits in. You can use bits of solid paper if you like and um, place them on or stick them on with sellotape, all sorts of different things. As long as it is areas that are opaque that you want to print and areas that are transparent that you don't want to print, 
then it should work great on a screen. You can also use a scalpel to remove any areas that you don't want. If you've got any bits of design that you don't like, you can just simply cut them out of the film. You can also use the scalpel to scrape into the paint to create more detailed lines. You can see that line there that I've just scratched into that leaf. Okay, so now I've got my screen film. I've cut out areas that I don't want to print. I've cut out from the edges. I've cut out sections that weren't quite right of the screen film. I've scratched into the paint here. I've also scratched into the pen to give a little bit more detail. Just using the scalpel slightly on its side, dragging across the pen and the paint there. So you can really be playful with it. Your film really doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to look... Um, just right all that matters is any marks any dark marks on the film are going to print and everything else needs to be completely transparent whether that's transparent film or gaps either is completely fine i just need to make sure that any acrylic paint is completely dry before i put it in the exposure unit the pen should be dry pretty much instantly but the paint can take a little while so just make sure you haven't got any blobs of wet paint on your design before you expose here we have the final screen so this was the design that was exposed onto the screen and here's the screen so all of those marks whether they were pen or acrylic or scratch put on with a paintbrush or scalpel they're all in there you can see that i've got some quite nice painty marks here that were made using the fan brush i've got pen marks I've got very thin lines from that thin, that fine zig opaque pen. So I'm just going to do a quick print to see how it looks printed. So there we are, I've got all those lovely thin lines, all that paintbrushy texture is all there in my final print. The screen I've used today is a 43T mesh and that is best for printing onto fabric so i've got here some fabric pinned out onto a padded surface to print but if you want to make a screen for paper you can use a 90t mesh screen that's going to be better and you won't need a padded surface at all on a 90t mesh screen you can get even finer lines in your final design so you can really use that zig fine pen to get some nice thin marks there now here's my final design with all that lovely texture and those marks. Absolutely no digital processes whatsoever. You can find the screens, the inks, some different fabrics, the screen film and some of those different pens at handprinted.co.uk as well as loads of instructions and extra help for all sorts of projects. If you'd like to make exposed screens at home, head over to the blog. Bridget has written us a blog post about how to expose screens at home using a work light. Or you can do this technique using an exposure unit in a studio like the one that we have at the hand printed studio. Happy printing!